everyone, my name is Matthew Griffin, better known as the Fanatical Futurist, and I'm going to tell you how ChatGPT works. Now, when we have a look at ChatGPT, a lot of people think that ChatGPT is what we call a large language model and a single artificial intelligence model that is made up of trillions of parameters. Now, researchers over in the US have been pulling ChatGPT apart, and actually it doesn't look like it is a single model. It actually looks like it is something called a MO in data science terms, a master of experts. So this works like this. So in a master of experts artificial intelligence model, I send my query to a central brain. So I say to it, tell me about quantum mechanics. That central brain then tries to understand the context and meaning of your query. Once it's done that, that central brain which has connections to lots of other individual artificial intelligence models, which are all experts in particular domains, figures out which expert to send your query to. So in this particular case, we would send the query about quantum mechanics to the individual artificial intelligence model that is an expert in quantum mechanics, because that's what it's being trained on. So ChatGPT sends your query to an expert AI model on quantum mechanics, that processes your query and then spits the answer back. And that is how a MO works. Now, within ChatGPT, it's estimated that each of these master of expert models, these individual AI, AI models, has about 800 billion parameters. It's also one of the main reasons why ChatGPT and ChatGPT4 differ so greatly, and why the capability between ChatGPT3 and 4 was so great, or the capability difference was so great. Now, when we start having a look ahead to ChatGPT5, we can see a way for OpenAI to dramatically improve the usability and the capabilities of its AI model. Because at the moment, a lot of these individual expert artificial intelligence models are not joined together. However, if OpenAI does join them together, then suddenly GPT-5 will have access to stonking amounts of cross-domain knowledge, which will fundamentally change the game. And in fact, based on when we have a look to 2037, it's estimated that platforms like ChatGPT, or by then GPT-28, or whatever it happens to be, could have over a billion times more general knowledge than any human brain. So ponder that. So I hope you enjoyed the little video blog. If you did, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff, and tune into the next one. Take it easy, goodbye.